I'm like, oh God, oh, oh my God. Bitch, I run the game, y'all just commentate from the side. What up, guys? It's your girl, Kizzy K here, and I told you guys I'll be reacting to Big Brother Season 20 and Episode 18 just there. So, basically, guys, yeah, let's just dive into this recap. I was supposed to post it yesterday. I know, yeah. It's 12.51 right now, so it was supposed to be up yesterday. But it's being up now because the challenge comes on. When you're seeing this, it's Tuesday, so the challenge comes on. So, I don't want to have to end up putting the challenge and a Big Brother recap. So, that's why I'm doing it at night. So basically, this is episode, but so much has happened. Okay, so we left off. Angela won HOH. Let's start with the, the, the show. Angela won HOH. She put up Rockstar, and she put up Sky. I think that was simple and easy. Now, obviously, Angela had two problems to face, and they got rid of the power apps, even though two power apps are still in play. Tyler's and Bailey's. They also introduced a new twist to the game, the hacker competition, which is for two weeks, thank God, which basically gives the hacker the option to hijack one of the nominations, meaning on the, he can take, the hacker can take someone off the block and anybody they want, except, obviously, the HOH. And not only can they put someone on the block, they have the ability to pick one person they want to play in the veto, and they get to take away one vote. I'm like, my dude, I'm like... What? That's too much power. Like, Bailey's power at, like, hijacking the noms? That's three different ways to mess somebody's game up. I mean, it's a twist. It's Big Brother. You gotta do what you gotta do. Now, for the life of me when I was watching before, everybody was so nitpick on who won the hacker competition. I'm like, yo, who won this freaking ha hacker competition? Because no, I was watching live feed. Nobody was saying that. It's like, oh, y'all yeah, just gonna be like Tyler with his app, keep it quiet. I'm like, cool, 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 cool. Then I'm like, somebody nominated Tyler. So I'm like, okay, so obviously it wasn't nobody on obviously level six and it wasn't Sam. So that left the other side in JC. But I honestly couldn't think it could have been JC. So it had to be somebody on the other side. That's what I'm thinking. I knew it wasn't Bailey because I feel like that would have been too obvious because basically she has the power app. I mean, it could have been, but I don't think they were gonna play it that way. So that leads down to Fezzi, Rockstar, Scotty, and Haley. And when I tell you I watched the show, Haley freaking wins it, yo. So pissed. I don't like this girl at all, yo. All this, like, I really don't. I mean, 100%, I would give her kudos. She wanted, she made a big move putting Tyler up on the block, 100%. She was like, I see your game, Tyler. She's like, you're on the fence. I see you. You're playing both sides. I see your game, and basically, nobody's pointing their fingers at you, so I'm a dude. I respect that game, but yes. Like, on the different side, if, like, not rooting for Tyler, just stand back and looking at it, Tyler is running the house. So at that point, you might want to get him out. I understand that. But I'm rooting for Tyler, so I don't like that. And I'm just like, yo, I don't like Haley. I'm just like, wow. I'm just like, huh, hate it. And everybody's zip lipped about it. But let's jump into the live feeds. Now, the veto competition. Who got picked to play the veto? So now, oh, I'm sorry, fast enough. So Haley chose to take down Scotty and put up Tyler. I don't know if she assumed she had the votes or whatever, but I could not fathom she was gonna get the votes to vote out Tyler over Rockstar. Tyler has way too many allies in the house, and he's not, everybody in the house was like, that's not a way to go about it, to get him out of the house like that. That was not a good way to go about it. They was like, this is not Tyler's time to go. So like that. I'm trying to remember, did Haley put herself in the video competition? I think she, I don't remember. I think she might have. Was it her? Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I'm gonna say it, because it just made me mad. Angela wins CHOH. Oh, let me fast forward. Basically, Bailey said, like, it's no point in me hijacking your nominations because basically they're gonna get changed anyway. And it's just true. If Bailey would've used it prior, boom, boom, boom. Like, n not, at this point, half of the house would've been on the block at this point. Half of the house would've been on the block and that's not fair. And people would've known Bailey did it. So she didn't want that on her back. She was like, I'm just gonna ride safe this week. If you let me, and she's like, I got you. I'm not putting you up. And she's like, and she was only concerned about her and Betty. She's like, I'm not putting either of you up. And she didn't. She put Rockstar and Scotty up. And obviously, Haley took Scotty down and replaced it with Tyler. So basically, Angela won the veto. And I'm like, yes. I mean, there were prizes involved. But, I mean, it sucks that you don't get the prize, the money. But, um, 
at it'd be worth it when you win the whole show though angela said i gotta take that veto so she took the veto and obviously she was bringing tyler down now everybody thinks the hacker is bailey which i kind of get but at the same time i know it's not her because we obviously seen it and we know it's not her but it's just like signs and anyway she has the power apps that's the reason why i would put her up so basically the other side bailey fezzy Haley, rockstar and them are trying to get the idea of angela to take down tyler oh i'm sorry to take down rockstar and put scotty up so that would be Tyler against Scotty and make it this whole big like, oh, you are be making one of the biggest games in the history of Big Brother. They love saying this line. They said it was like Caitlyn. They said it was swaggy. I'm like, come on. Now. You gotta stop saying that because it's not. The biggest move within the season right now would be to get Tyler out. But they're not going that route. So it's not a big move. The smart move is to get Bailey out because she has a active power act. And you want to take her out right away. So Angela... And they even recruited Scotty in. And it was like throwing his supposedly team under the bus. Saying like, they all came up here. Everybody except Rockstar, I would say that. Came up here and was like, they, that, we, that I should put you up. That's what they were saying to Angela. He was like, wow, mom. I feel like Scotty is on a different route. He's not with them. Because he sees that's a sticky shit. And he needs to get all while he can. And basically, so basically Angela, Casey, and all of them are just playing this up. Like, oh yeah, maybe I should. I'm going to put Scott. Like, that's a good idea to put Scott. It'd be a big move. And then they're starting this girl line. I don't know why. What is this with this girl line? I feel like anytime I side is in trouble, they want to start a girl, a girl line. I'm just like, why? Like, like, this girl alliance does not exist. It's you, as in you, it's Bailey. Haley and Rockstar. It's you three. That's your girl line. Don't try to recruit Angela. Don't try to recruit Casey. It's not gonna fly. Obviously, you know they weren't including Sam because Sam is obviously not down with that. But I will say this. The only person that is smart in this with the hacker is obviously uh, Sam. Because Sam has been going around telling people, but they're like, it's Bailey, it's Bailey, it's Bailey. She's lying, she's lying. Sam's like, I don't know. Sam has these amazing senses when it comes to Haley because Haley be on some funky stuff. It's obvious. It's obvious Sam doesn't like Haley, Haley doesn't like Sam. I guarantee you, if Sam wins, if Haley wins it to eat, oh, 100%, she's putting Sam up. And vice versa, if Sam wins again, she's putting Haley up. But same time, she's like, I don't know. Everybody's just like, oh, Haley's not that smart. She's not that bright enough to win a hacker competition. Shoot, Brett is the whole cyber dude, and he got alliance. Like, come on, this was with your comp, Brett, and yet you didn't win it. But, um, Sam is smart. She was like, nah. She's like, I think Haley is the hacker. And it's like, even if she is the hacker, Bailey has a power up. So, basically, Tyler's like, once we get Bailey out of here and I win HOH, I'll put Haley up there. I'll tell her why I'm putting up here because she doesn't do anything. So the whole side, that side is believing like, oh, okay, they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it. Bailey has a slight doubt in her mind that she might be back door, but she's like, ah, she wouldn't do that. Nah, 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 nah. Sweetie, you should take that hint and run with it. But um, here comes the veto ceremony and ding, ding, ding. Bailey has been nominated. So we have Bailey and Rockstar on the block. Now you know for a fact Haley has to cancel one vote, so basically she can cancel whoever she wants. She's not gonna have the votes to save Bailey, meaning she's gonna be stuck with Fezzi and Rockstar. And I know that's not a dilemma she wants to be in. And I'm like, girl, I hope you know you and Fezzi are going on the block next to each other if you or the three do not win. That's just basically what it is. I feel like Scotty is gonna roll with that side a little bit, so I feel like it's basically just them three hanging. At that point, I just. Uh, Rockstar has been calm. I know my I made my comments about Rockstar and like a, a couple of recaps ago, but I feel like Rockstar has been calm. I mean, I, I feel bad. Nobody believes in the girl. And Scotty is like, you can't tell. Like, I hate that. People are like, oh, swear on the Bible, swear on your mother, swear on your kids, swear. Stop telling me to swear. It's a game. Like, you know, people lie in this game. That's what I don't like. Like, you're not. I wish somebody would come up to me and be like, swear on the Bible. I'm not swearing on nothing. You can think what you want, but don't come up here and swear on the Bible. You can swear on the Bible? That's on you. I'm not swearing on the Bible. Because I'm just not doing that. I don't care if I'm telling the truth or I'm lying. I'm not swearing on anything. Because at the end of the day, it's a game. So, Bailey goes up, and basically, Tyler had this whole conversation with Bailey. Like, she's crying. I forgot what it was she was saying. And Tyler's literally laughing her face, saying, you can cancel my vote. You're still going home. It was something like that. And 
basically Bailey's going around telling people like, oh, you when you guys look back at this, you guys are gonna feel so wrong, so dumb that I wasn't a hacker. But I feel like they're gonna get you out regardless if there was a twist because you have a power up. And she did not use her power up, so that's one power up. Boop, down the drain. So all you that voted for Bailey to get a power up, you just wasted your vote. Because you could have saved the vote on somebody else. So basically the votes Bailey and Rockstar. So obviously, on the other side, they have to pick. Do they want to keep Bailey? I feel like this might be the first elimination. If they were smart, they would vote with the house. To make it, I mean, Bailey's going to jury. So it's, she's not going home. So she's not going to see Prince right away. She's going, she's going to be the first one in jury. So gets to relax before somebody else comes in. At least she made it to jury. I thought like they are going to say it at Thursday's eviction. Welcome to jury, like you guys made it to jury. It's about time they made it to jury. I'm not thinking of the votes. Who will vote to evict Bailey? Let's say Haley, I don't know, for crying out loud. She cancels Tyler's vote, okay? So, okay, so yeah, they don't have the votes. I think the other side, they're gonna keep Fez and Haley out of the loop. I mean, at this point, Tyler told Rockstar that, like, you're not going home. You're sitting next to Bailey. She's a bigger target than you, so you're not going home. But they're gonna keep him out a little bit. I would definitely 100% not tell Haley anything because I'm a bit off on Fez or something. But I feel like, I, I don't know, I keep saying if they were smart, but obviously they haven't been that smart because the votes prove it. They always been on the opposite side of it. You see Bailey on the block. You, I, I just can't fathom that for a second they believe she has the vote to say. They should vote with the house. Meaning, go for the obvious vote. Don't just sit there and be like, I think she's gonna stay, and then feel dumb when you know she wasn't gonna stay. I was wondering, can Haley cancel her own vote? I'm just curious. I feel like maybe she's she's gonna cancel her own vote just to make it up, be the fact, so um, she probably be good with um, Bailey. So I feel like, will they tell them before they vote or after they vote that it's jury? I feel like they're gonna tell them before, so no, but see, at that point, Haley would already had her decision made on who vote she was canceling. I guess Julie would announce it. I don't know. She might cancel her own vote. I don't know. I feel like, okay, here's my thing with Brett. They're, they're saying the worst, the best worst case scenario is that everybody votes unanimous. But to be petty, you know, Brett, the dramatic character Brett is, he like, if he gets like sense of word, like coming eviction night, that everybody's gonna vote the same, he's gonna vote to evict Rockstar and then put the blame on somebody. You know, they're the petty stuff. Brett has to always do something to extra to start it up. So that's basically it for this recap, guys. Today if I have more to report to you guys tomorrow. Yeah, because tomorrow is Wednesday. I'll report back to you guys tomorrow. I'll probably report it Wednesday. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be up Wednesday. So this is, that is it for this recap, guys. I'm KZK saying, see ya.